Welcome to the course demo for Biotility, the five pillar strategy for a lean workplace. This course is presented by Tammy J. Culp from RTI Surgical. These are the steps of the 5S program of visual management. Sort, set in order, shine, standardize, and sustain. The steps of 5S involve going through items in a workspace, removing what's unnecessary, organizing items, cleaning, performing maintenance, and making sure these things become habits. These steps should occur in this order, and there must be a plan in place for performing the tasks associated with these steps. At the end of a 5S implementation, you should have an organized workplace that utilizes visual cues to maintain itself and be able to see problems and move materials more efficiently. The purpose of the 5S program is to provide an organized work environment where everything has a place is in its place and is ready for use. So how do we implement this strategy? Let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is identify a company champion. This person owns and drives the five pillars with vision, commitment, passion, and leadership. A champion of five pillars can be your eh &S coordinator, managers, or supervisors, someone with a vested interest in the success of five pillars. Each appointment should last 12 to 18 months and be performed in addition to the champion's normal work responsibilities. Next is to implement a training program. To make five pillars a culture within your workplace, begin by training all of your current employees as well as training all new employees during new employee orientation. You'll also want to integrate metrics into this process with your performance management system. Metrics are important for safety. In addition to OSHA reportable events and accidents, metrics also help drive performance and accountability down to the departmental and employee level. Starting with the left side of this picture, the before 5S side, what do you see? I see clutter, debris, unorganized tools, possible chemicals that are not contained, a lack of labeling or line marking, this work area is not only inefficient, it's also a safety hazard. Moving over to the right side of this picture, the after 5S side, what do you notice? The area has been sorted, set in order, shined, and standardized. Tools and materials are organized in specific locations. There are visual floor markings and sight lines, and no excess inventory. In this work area, there is no excess or wasted movement on the part of the employee. This is the power of 5S in action.